is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. The man of the hour has arrived. Saxton, it's okay, you can admit it. You're like a 47-year-old piece of hematite. This is the 24-year-old piece of gold, Leo Rush, the real deal, the man of the hour. Look, I'll give Leo Rush his credit. Very talented competitor, but uh, he's got some very uh, boisterous tendencies when he's at ringside serving in his managerial role. The good news is you can't even get words out of your mouth when Leo Rush is around, but the fact of the matter is, you can't even be the man of the minute, let alone the man of the hour. Leo Rush is one of the most incredible athletes on the entire WWE roster. Gulak's in the house. At least he didn't bring that silly PowerPoint presentation with him. Byron, right, those PowerPoint presentations are highly educational. You could stand to learn a thing or two from Drew Gulak. A technical wizard from Philadelphia. Drew Gulak is a force to be reckoned with in the cruiserweight division. A true broad street bully. Introducing the challenger from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 160 pounds, Leo Rush. Introducing the champion from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Drew Gulak. If you didn't think about moving, you better apologize. Superstars coming to this matchup with a lot to prove. Hey, Corey, I saw you spending some time with wow. Drew Gulak earlier on today. Yeah, I had the pleasure of learning how Drew Gulak's going to win tonight through an informative 62-page PowerPoint presentation. Look, that sounds miserable. close on that one. It's gonna take more than that. What a stop! Good grief! Boom! Ooh. <laughs> Challenger is starting to falter. But he certainly comes into this championship match with a ton of momentum. If things don't change in a hurry, this has all the makings of a short evening for him. And stay down for long. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Beautiful technique. 
I believe we're in for some more of Gulak's ramblings tonight for how he's got a plan for a better 205 Live. I mean, I hope not, but I think it's going to happen. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Here he goes. Whoa, the Southern Lights suplex. You don't see that very often. This could be it. Byron mentioned Gulak's plan for a better 205 Live, whether it's been picket signs or slideshow presentations on the Titan Tron. Gulak has been insistent on molding 205 Live into his twisted vision. Well, I think Gulak has some great ideas. All I hear you two do is criticize him. If you two have any better ideas on how to make two... Looking for the exclamation point! Oh, nasty impact. Here's his chance to win this. Corey Leo Rush appears. The champion into the cover! And the shoulder's up in time. Not yet. The challenger looking absolutely exhausted in there. We know who that is. These two absolutely detest each other. Corey makes a great point, Byron. Leo Rush gets caught on the wrong side of a power bomb or bear hug. His night could be over in a hurry. Agreed. But what Leo Rush lacks in power, he more than makes up with in his speed and agility. Remember, you can't overpower him if you can't catch him. What a move into the cover with the title on the line! New champion! New champion! On a quick kick out by Gulak. Keep all your signs down. Gulak isn't out of this one yet. Oh, but he's close. Oh, continuing to punish them. The stop in the leg. Just nasty. The date of September 5th, 2017 may end up being one of the banner days in WWE history. That was a... Wow, I thought he was a goner. He's making a statement here with this attack. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Nailed it. Going back to Drew Gulak's plan for a better 205 Live. You gentlemen are focusing too much on the medium, not the message. Gulak demands we have no jumping off ropes, no fancy costumes, no crowd chants, because he knows needling his opponents about those things will give Gulak a psychological advantage. Well, a psychological advantage? I'm pretty sure Gulak is just psycho, period. And he's annoying, too. Drop kick! It hits the mark. Drew Gulak has made it his personal mission to establish a new fly zone and eradicate high flyers from 205 Live. A tall order when you consider the many aerial specialists in WWE's Cruiserweight division. Six. He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get counted out here. Time's certainly not on his side, Michael. And cut through Gulak, going for an early pin. Never say die attitude out of him. He's still in this. Uh oh, no, don't do this. I got right to the gut. What a stomp. Good grief. Just rake in the face. Oh, and he reverses it. of Gulak. Oh boy, he is rolling. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. Fireman's carry. This doesn't look good, Corey. Couldn't agree more, Cole. This has got trouble written all over it. Back. 
No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Slap! Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. And he kicks out. Keep all your signs down. Gulak isn't out of this one yet. Oh, but he's close. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. He's looking at it. You gotta believe this one's over. Now that's how you successfully defend your title. There it is. Now the question is, can Gulak finish? He's close to being done here. surprised as you guys are. There it is. He's got him covered. Retains the title. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. That's what I love about the WWE. A match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Drew Gulak. Big pinfall victory here tonight. There's nothing more pure than picking up a win in a good old-fashioned one-on-one fight. And it looks to me...